Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and I was just at the hardware store today because I'm working on a project which I still haven't got my breath from, but I wanted to shoot this video real quick and just remind everyone that the hardware store can be your friend. You know, I find a lot of things at the hardware store that I don't see at my sportsman's warehouse, at my local gun store, at Walmart, or a lot of those other stores that a lot of us visit frequently. Um, you know, of course, I love my sporting goods stores. I always have a good time there. I go there sometimes without any intention to buy anything just because looking is fun enough. But going to Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, wherever it is anybody likes to go when it comes to hardware and home improvement, there's a lot of things there that pertain to prepping, survivalism, that a lot of us maybe either bypass or don't really think about when we're going out shopping to get some preps. So uh, I just wanted to bring it to your attention. I had to go there today, get some supplies for something I was doing for work, and then I obviously, you know, find that they have plenty of five-gallon buckets around, which of course many of you would already know about, but just in case you did it, that's where I usually get my five-gallon buckets is at the hardware store. And then even today in the clearance bin, they just had a bin full of 550 paracord on clearance for three dollars so um you can't ever have enough cordage might as well pick some up right and i don't think you usually find stuff like this on sale that discounted in the sense of a, a sporting goods store or walmart or something like that but at the hardware store where it's not much of a seller because usually people pick these items up somewhere else uh they mark them down sometimes so i think it's a good thing to keep an eye out for the stuff that they have there that does pertain to survival and prepping um i do have a menards nearby that has like high hides for hunting they've got uh all kinds of like camo and all kinds of uh outdoors and camping enthusiast kind of stuff out there so they have a, like a small sporting goods department which is kind of nice they have gun safes and everything as well uh, but then on the other side of that Menards, weirdly enough, also has like a grocery store in it. So I'm not gonna lie, I used to work, or not work, but shop at Home Improvement and uh, or <laughs> Home Depot, Lowe's. See, I'm still kind of catching up from the project I'm working on. And uh, not really used to seeing grocery stores inside of Home Improvement stores. But either way, I mean, there's a lot of great things there. One of the things that I'm gonna start investing in that I would suggest and see if maybe you guys wanna try to um, move towards that as well is picking up tools that don't require power but still get the same job done so um, they have a lot of things like the handheld drill that is basically like a uh, like a rotary spring activated hand drill it does the same job as a power drill it just takes a lot longer but having one of those when the grid goes down and maybe you don't have a power source or maybe your power supply over time decays to the point where it can't handle a power drill would be better than having no drill at all. So I am gonna start investing in some of those kinds of tools, and I just wanted to share that with you guys to give you some ideas of maybe things you could pick up that would uh, benefit you without having the power on or with having to construct maybe some kind of fortifications or something in the middle of SHTF. So um, the other thing is just make sure you have nails, tons and tons and tons of nails and some decent hammers laying around, because as everyone knows, you can construct a lot of things with just wood hammer and nails and if it's just to fortify your home or to make things a little more difficult for those packs of marauders we all expect to see at some point then i would you know definitely invest in having a butt ton of nails laying around so if you need to know how much a butt ton is go ahead and google it and please don't tell me what you find either way i just wanted to kind of bring this to your all attention um i am Really tired from doing what I was just working on, but sometimes these video ideas pop into my head and I gotta just get them out there or else I'll forget to do them, okay? So really appreciate everybody watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. All those things help a lot. Um, I really appreciate all the support this channel has been getting and I look forward to doing more here in the future. So without anything else to say, that's gonna be it for me.